Welcome to my lab. My name is Drew Collip. In today's lab, we will be using a Genesis 30 spectrophotometer. We will be using the live scan feature of the Genesis 30 to create an absorption spectrum for Janus Green B dye. This is a common dye used in histology and is present in my lab. The stock concentration is too concentrated for any light to pass through in the spectrophotometer. Today we've diluted it down to 25 milligrams per liter. I found that's a good concentration to get a proper absorption spectrum. With the live scan feature of the Genesis 30, it's a very slow method to make an absorption spectrum. You have to do one wavelength at a time. We'll be doing this to make sure the students understand how to properly create an absorption spectrum. We will start at 325 nanometers and increase in 25 nanometer increments, and we will end at 900 nanometers in wavelength. Before you start this procedure, it's a good idea to set up a table of values. You can pre-populate it with one column for your wavelength, starting at 325 and going up to 900 nanometers in wavelength, and then have a column for the percent transmittance. We will be recording our data as percent transmittance. The device will work also in absorbance. However, I prefer to work in percent transmittance. This way the students get practice observing where the absorbance value comes from. In addition, they can use the formula A equals two minus the log percent transmittance, and this helps them work with mathematical equations in the lab to convert one unit to another. Here is the Genesis 30 spectrophotometer. You can see a lid opens up, and inside we have a place to put a cuvette. Quartz cuvettes, disposable plastic cuvettes, or test tubes can be used. Here's the screen. We can press the home button, brings us to the menu. Here we have a number of cursors. You can see we can move around by pressing up, down, left, and right. And then we can select live display and press the enter button. Here we've entered the live display mode. Let's make sure it's on percent transmittance by selecting percent T and pressing enter. The selected wavelength is located here. Before we run any samples, we want to blank the spectrophotometer. We're going to use water for that today. If your spectrophotometer is on the wrong wavelength, this can be adjusted by selecting the wavelength, deleting it, and plugging in your desired wavelength, 325 nanometers for now. We open the lid, place our water sample in there, making sure there are no smudges or fingerprints on it. We close the lid, and then we can see here it says, press this button. This is the blank button. It is yellow, color-coded. We can then open the spectrophotometer and remove the sample. We then take our Janus Green B sample, making sure there's no smudges, we place it inside the device and close the lid. 325 nanometers, we can read directly from there, 33.0% transmittance. You can see it's flashing, this is recording a new reading every time. We will now adjust the wavelength by 25 nanometers to 350 nanometers. We will then have to re-blank the machine. Place in your blank, and press the yellow blank button. Wait a second, 000 comes up, and we can swap out for the Janus Green B sample. Place it into the spectrophotometer, and then read off directly. 52.1 at 350 nanometers. We now have two data points. We need to collect more data points, and every time you change the wavelength, in this case 375, we must re-blank the machine. Place it inside, Press the yellow button to blank, wait a second, and then swap out the sample. And we will repeat this for all samples going up in 25 nanometer increments to 900 nanometers in wavelength. Remember, we must re-blank whenever the wavelength is changed with the machine. We will now cycle this process between changing the wavelength, blanking the sample, checking the Janus Green B percent transmittance until we have reached 900 nanometers. At that point, we will take the data in our lab notebook. We will use the formula A equals two minus the log of percent transmittance. We will then take this data. We will plot a graph. We will plot wavelength and nanometers on the horizontal axis, and we will plot absorbance on the vertical axis. We will connect all the points and see where the maximum absorbance value is. This is referred to as the A max. Each chemical will have a different wavelength of maximal absorbance. 
By using the A max value, you can ensure you're getting the largest dynamic range when using a spectrophotometer with that specific chemical. Now this video continues on for many more minutes. So if you'd like to see the entire video of the absorption spectrum going all the way to 900 nanometers, you can continue to watch the video. Until next time.